If you're looking for a good quality preacher curl machine for your gym and you do not want to spend a small fortune, then the ATX uh, bicep blaster here is well worth a look. You have both leverage and free weight functionality in a compact footprint. Best of all, it's under $1,000. Now, normally in these videos, I start off banging on about how well the machine is built, or I go through and list all the amazing features. This time, I thought I'd kick it off with something different and let you know what one of our valued customers thought of this machine. Um, Brad from Inferno Fitness is a legend and he has got plenty of our equipment in his gym. And you know, he must think highly of the ATX gear because he is in Western Australia. So the shipping is steep. So he pays more than most of us for it. So this is what he thought of the Preacher Curl machine. I purchased the Barbarian Bicep Curl machine and I swear to God it feels just like or just as good as the hammer strength one. The only difference is the Barbarian Arm Curl can be adjusted better to suit the user and best of all, it only costs 10 to 15% of what the hammer strength one cost me and that's no BS. So just to clarify, this machine was previously branded Barbarian and has remained largely unchanged since being branded ATX. Brad's review pretty much sums up the ATX range and the ATX brand. You get close to the same experience as more expensive machines, but at a fraction of the price. So this makes these machines perfect for the smaller gyms and personal trainers, or in this case, it's suitable for a deluxe garage gym. And for the record, Brad was not the only person who made this comparison. This is a good machine. I actually feel that more on my biceps than the hammer strength one. You agree? Very good. The, the build is pretty basic and has remained largely unchanged in the 10 years that I've sold this machine. The preacher pad has four adjustment angles, so you can get the right angle to fit any body shape. Or if you believe in the theory, you can target different areas of the biceps. <laughs> the height of the preacher pad is not adjustable, it's fixed. You adjust the height using the seat pad. Or if you're like Lee Priest, you can actually stand and perform the exercise. So just because my arms are shorter, I just prefer to stand and squat. I find if I sit, it puts my arms like this. Yeah. So my arms go there and I get more pull on my belt. So if I stand up, I just feel like I'm in a better position. Yeah. But everyone's different. If you're taller and you've got that longer limb, you can sit down more. But if you're shorter like me, I just prefer to stand. The lever arm and the handle both pivot on bearings. The handles themselves also rotate. So the whole move movement is super smooth and direct. It is built so well that you can use the arms independently. You can also use your easy curl barbell on the machine too. It has height adjustable bar supports, so you can get yourself into the optimal starting position with full range of motion. I should declare that I'm not a massive bicep training fan, but I know there's a lot of guys out there and girls who love a great arm day. However, unless you are loaded and have a massive shed, I would not normally recommend this for a home gym. There are a lot more space efficient and affordable ways to train arms. Like I say, if you've got the money and space, go ahead. The sweet spot for this machine for me are the smaller gyms and personal training studios. It is relatively compact and dual function in that you can do both leverage and barbell, plus you could bring your dumbbells over and use the preacher pad as well. And I thought to see how well it performed in a gym environment, I thought I'd ask Matt from Matt the Gym about how his bicep blaster performed. So Matt, how long have you had your bicep blaster in your gym? Uh, we did have the Barbarian one originally, and then we swapped it out for this ATX one. It says 2019 on there, so five years. Is it popular among members? Yes. We're at a fair... 
the gym is busier than you think, but it's a fairly quiet time of the day, so 11 a.m. But if you would come in in a busy time, then I could guarantee it would be in use. So it is in use a hell of a lot. What is the split in use between leverage and barbell usage, approximately? Uh, both. And people even use it as a standing barbell rest. You see, we've got curl bars here. So people are putting them in here, whether they're performing it off the pad or even to stand in front of it. Supersets are good in that respect. Um, I would still say they predominantly people do preacher curl with it using the levers. It is very comfortable, but you'd know that yourself, Sam. So yeah, I'd say most people still use these lever arms, which is why we've got all these smaller weights here so that people can load up. As a gym owner, what are your thoughts on this machine? Uh, I really like it. A staple item in any commercial gym is going to be a preacher curl bench. A lot of gyms also have a separate curl station, whether it be a stack or lever. So this one kills two birds with one stone because they are equally popular. So as a gym owner, I really like it. As a old school bodybuilder, I like it even more. And you see, you've got lots of adjustments. Those adjustments are both good and bad because it means lots of people won't lift how you would want them to lift. You know, they'll have their armpits buried in the pad. Whereas I'm not going to do like the arms turned out like Larry Scott, nothing quite that extreme, but I do like the same position as a setup as in my chest just above the pad. So the lever arm is in the perfect position to achieve that. Finally, have you had guys come in wearing their disco gear on a Friday or Saturday night for a quick pump up? Feel free to name and shame. Fortunately for me, I'm no longer in the gym on a Friday night. I am off to Western Supermare date night. So uh, I'm not in it for that. I, I think things have changed. It's not the quick pump on a Friday night. It's people, it's like the juice bar of the 80s where people meet in the gym. So I didn't really think that exists anymore. Although Jack, who's recording, met his partner in the gym. As always, thanks again, Matt. It's um, always good to hear how for someone who's thinking about buying you know laying out a fair fair chunk of change for a machine to see how it actually performs in the in the real world and um, you can hear from Matt's testimony that you know it stands up for uh, heavy usage and is well appreciated by the members so um, if you have got that small personal training studio and you want to add a bit of variety this machine's definitely worth looking at and as I said if you've got the money in the space and you want a good arm pump and you've um, you know, got the ultimate garage gym, yeah, it's a, a good little toy that you could shout yourself.